For people with a loved one who's disappeared, the nightmare and questions never end, compounding the trauma. It's something the MIST Foundation is helping to address with a world-first program designed to support the families and friends of people who are missing. And joining us with more is internationally renowned missing persons expert Dr Sarah Wayland and Lisa Hayes, who's the cousin of missing Belgian backpacker Theo Hayes. Theo disappeared without a trace in Byron Bay one night in 2019. Thank you both for joining us. Um, Lisa, first to you. We know you can't speak for everyone, but how's the family coping after all these years? Has the pain and anguish reduced at all over time? Um, I think it's been a really challenging time for everyone in my family, and we've all been dealing with that amb ambiguous loss story very differently. Um, but it's been about, you know, having to wake up every day and knowing that we don't have all the answers and maybe expecting to receive a call at any second, but also expecting that we might never know and having through to navigate through normal life and normal things with that very heavy weight on our shoulders. Sarah, why is the grief experienced by families of missing people different? Look, I think in our lifetimes we anticipate that grief will be a part of loving people who are around us. But the significant challenge for families of missing people is that that loss becomes frozen in time. There's not that finality or those pieces of information that allow families, like Theo's family, to be able to reflect on the fact that, yes, the loss has occurred and how, may, how might they survive from that point onwards. So it's a real teasing, ambiguous journey. Lisa, what sort of support was there for the family? Um, at the very beginning, um, the biggest support we received was from the community. Um, even though they hadn't really experienced anything like that in Byron Bay, the community really stuck together and supported my family like we would we would have never expected. Well, Sarah, can you talk us through this new training program? How is it going to help families uh, and who is it designed for? Look, um, in February next year, it'll be 20 years since I started working in the missing person space, first as a social worker, and then left that job to do my PhD, looking at experiences of hope for families of missing people. So what I did with the MIST uh, Foundation was really distill almost that 20 years of information and evidence and academic reflections to provide assistance to the police, to search and rescue, to media, to other families of missing people and also to the general community to say, you know what, this type of loss is different. These are the strategies that we need to reflect on when we're providing support to people. And that missing is not just about engaging with a podcast and, you know, listening to the true crime or the mystical aspect of it. But these are very real stories of people who are left behind when someone is missing. Well, Lisa and Sarah, thank you so much for the insights. And, uh, Lisa, we hope the Hayes uh, family get the answers that, that you desperately need. Thanks again for joining us on Midday.